The universe is vast and full of mystery. That is why we are thrilled with the successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. The Webb Telescope is expected to be 100 times more powerful than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been in service for an incredible 31 years. The James Webb Telescope, after years upon years of research and development, is now fully deployed and ready to show us the deepest secrets of the cosmos. If everything goes according to plan, we will soon enter a new era of astronomy, the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most expensive and complex space telescope ever built, is now in space, heading to its final destination. Webb is currently located roughly 1 million kilometers away at Langridge Point 2. It is the world's largest and most powerful space telescope. So what strange objects did the James Webb Telescope capture? How will this telescope alter our perceptions of the universe? And how will technology show humanity something we've never seen before or imagined? This will be covered in today's video. One important reason for JWT's power is that it is largely an infrared telescope, whereas Hubble is predominantly a visible light telescope. Because the universe's oldest light is red shifted into the infrared, infrared is extremely powerful. This enables JWST to stare further and deeper into the universe, seeing objects that Hubble is unable to see. JWST, for example, will enable us to photograph the universe when it was only 100 million years old. Now, the $10 billion telescope will spend the next decade or so probing the depths of the cosmos and bringing back baby photos of our universe from its inception. Of course, there is no average telescope. In fact, it is 100 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been bringing back spectacular views of our outer space for three decades. Scientists were thrilled when they finally saw Webb's test photographs which captured the light of a star 2,000 light years away that was 100 times fainter than our human eyes can perceive. The image was generated using mirrors on the James Webb Space Telescope and filters that turned the light from a faraway star into a red, spiky shape. Thousands of distant galaxies loomed strangely behind the spiky star, revealing Webb's untapped potential. You can't help but notice the thousands of galaxies hidden behind it it's rather fascinating. These faraway galaxies, to be accurate, are billions of years old. However, this is simply a taste of Webb's capabilities, which scientists believe will allow them to view as far as a couple of hundred million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope will also investigate the strangely flashing black hole at the center of our galaxy the Milky Way, which has eluded previous telescopes. Webb will join the efforts of multiple telescopes to better comprehend the nature of Sagittarius A, a supermassive black hole whose tendency to flare up on an hourly basis makes imaging difficult. A crew from the Event Horizon Telescope will join the Webb investigators. EHT is a network of eight ground-based radio telescopes that caught the first image of a black hole. M87 in 2019. Webb will eventually image Sagittarius A in two infrared wavelengths from a perch in deep space free of stray light. Because the Event Horizon Telescope sits on the ground, the expectation is that the data acquired from Webb will complement the data from the ground-based network, resulting in a clearer, easier to interpret image. Collaborators anticipate that Webb and EHT operating together will reveal more information about what generates the flares, which could lead to new insights into black holes, solar flares, or particle and plasma physics in general. Black holes may hold answers to some of the universe's major puzzles. Black holes, predicted by Albert Einstein as part of his general theory of relativity, are, in some ways, the polar opposite of what their name implies. Rather than being an empty hole in space, black holes are the most dense, thickly packed regions of matter unknown. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so intense that it warps the fabric of space around it and any material that gets too close to it is trapped there forever. This is the reason why black holes appear black. Telescopes detect light from the area surrounding the black hole, 
not from the black hole itself. The event horizon is the term given by scientists to the ultimate inner border of that light. According to new research, the James Webb Telescope will soon be able to test one of Stephen Hawking's most disputed theories. Hawking proposed in the 1970s that dark matter, the invisible component that makes up the majority of everything in the universe, could be constituted of black holes generated in the early seconds of the Big Bang. Three astronomers have now created a theory that explains not just the presence of dark matter, but also the appearance of the universe's greatest black holes. As you may already know, scientists claim that Pluto is no longer a planet, but the dwarf planet and its icy companions in the Kuiper Belt are set to enter the spotlight. One of the first tasks of the James Webb Space Telescope this year will be to examine Pluto and some of the thousands of other astronomical objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region of our solar system beyond Neptune's orbit. These items, known as Kuiper Belt objects or trans-Neptunian objects, vary greatly in color, shape, size, groupings, and geological and atmospheric activity. While multiple spacecraft have flown past these bodies, including NASA's New Horizons mission, they have only been able to view them briefly. Scientists will be able to analyze the objects for a longer amount of time because of Webb's sensitive infrared cameras will be able to gather information about surface chemistry from Webb, which could help us figure out why there are so many diverse populations in the Kuiper Belt. Webb will also investigate centaurs, which are former Kuiper Belt's objects whose orbits have been adjusted to bring them closer to the Sun, resting somewhere between Jupiter and Neptune. Unlike Hubble, it will be able to peer directly into stellar nurseries which are where stars and their planetary systems are formed. The observations will provide answers to questions regarding how dust and gas clouds collapse to generate stars and how planetary systems form around them. The birthplaces of stars are dusty. While they make for stunning photographs, the dust prevents scientists from seeing deep into the heart of these clouds when viewed with visible light. Fortunately, Infrared light from stars may penetrate the dust and provide scientists with a completely fresh perspective on an old problem. Red light penetrates dust in the Earth's atmosphere better than shorter wavelengths blue lights. Webb's increased infrared range will allow scientists to see deeper into the dust. Webb will also look for probable chemical clues of life on distant planets. If life exists beyond Earth, it will leave distinct chemical traces such as breathing carbon dioxide and photosynthesis oxygen that can reshape a planet. Analyzing the molecules in a planet's atmosphere will allow scientists to not only search for life but also to assess a planet's habitability. For a long time, astronomers have been looking for Earth 2.0. However, with the capability of the Webb Space Telescope, it is possible that such a planet will be discovered during our lifetimes. Webb's ultimate goal, according to reports, is to find an exoplanet identical to Earth. According to NASA, the Webb telescope is sufficiently sensitive to infrared light that it could detect the little heat of a bumblebee from the moon's distance. At a distance of around 25 miles, it could see details as small as a US penny. Of course, these activities are not the goal of sensitivity in practice, it will enable scientists to compare the earliest galaxies to the most recent ones, providing a more complete picture of how they evolve and maybe answering some long-standing concerns about the early cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope, as the flagship successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, will provide astronomy with wave after wave of discoveries. It is hoped that it would not only reveal the chemical composition of numerous extraterrestrial worlds suspected of arboring life, but will also expose the conditions of the very early universe in ways we have only imagined. Webb will be the first of its kind in terms of size, sensitivity, and wavelength range combined. With its capabilities, there's a significant chance scientists will see something they've never seen before. Then there's what we don't expect, which will most likely be the most exciting, perhaps a phenomenon that completely overturns existing universe theories.